Now we go over to Bluefield where the Ridge Runners, my goodness, have they been so hot lately, winning four of their last five with the bases loaded in the fifth inning. Bluefield sends pitcher Cam Knox into the game, and he's able to get out of the jam straight out of the bullpen with the strikeout for out number three. Road Warriors lead 3-2 at this point. Now to the bottom fifth with two outs. Michael Seegers goes for the steal and just makes it in time. So now that they have a runner in scoring position, what can Kendall Ewell do? How about Crank one to deep center field ball hits the fence. Seeger scores easily. Yule has the triple and apparently some pretty cool hand gestures too. Game all tied up at three runs. Top of the sixth, Road Warriors Ben Berenda smokes one towards first base for the single. And then with two outs, Logan Harbin makes great contact on this hit. But Yaniel Barroa for Bluefield covers the ground and gets the out. And Bluefield continues their winning ways. They win this one. 6-4. The Princeton Whistle Pigs got off to a fast start against the Johnson City Doughboys today and they never looked back. Princeton scored six runs in the first two innings and then relied on a strong defensive effort from there to win 8-1. Dylan Rogers drove in three runs for the Whistle Pigs who climbed to 23-19 and on the season. Now to Beckley where the Miners hosted Johnstown between injuries and guys leaving for tryouts. It's been a tough few weeks for West Virginia but they are continuing to put up a fight narrowly narrowly losing to Johnstown tonight. The Miners' biggest highlight today was a solo home run by Concord's very own Evan Antonellis. He and the Miners will be back in action Sunday for WOAY night at Epling Stadium. Our sports director, Matt Digby, will be throwing out the first pitch. I mean, you can't miss that.